Shalom, call the law, law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, we call Kodash, Bracket Da, um, double honor to the apostles, they enter the great millstone who we will, and save taxes to the hopeful elect, that teach this truth sincerely across the four corners of the earth. And, um, this is a little lesson, real quick, because me and the, uh, um, Shayar in my, um, camp, you know, we was, um, on Instagram Live, and we was basically getting it into. How Esau and Jacob, I mean, so like how Cain and Esau is the same spirit, man. And how they hate their brother Esau, I mean, how they hate their brother Jacob. And they, they go get destroyed for that shit, man. You know? And I cannot, and the, the lot, the Instagram live ended and his phone's about to die. So I'm about to land back off of that, man. You know? But I'm going to start off, I'm going to open up with that Obadiah chapter 1, verse 10. It say. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob shall shame cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So yeah, man, just just because you gave violence to Jacob, the um, child of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Sem Seminole Indians, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, all that wrath he put upon us, man, made us lose our heritage, man, you know, um, took away the names from us, man. Raped our woman, raped our men, you know, fed our babies to animals and shit, man. <laughs> Lynching us and still doing rap against us to this day. The most I go put shame upon upon them and cut them off, man. After they thousand years of slavery, he gonna burn they he gonna burn them up forever, man. You know? The most I he gonna play about his children, man. Just like if you had a son or a daughter or son and they get he or she get into a fight, even though they probably was wrong at the end of the day, you still gonna take up for your child, man. It don't matter if the person beat their ass or not, man. It don't matter if your child was wrong or not. If they if if, if they find out somebody touched their child, they putting up on the, the person who who touched their child, man. You know? And that's how the most I look look at his children, man. Which is us, man, the children of Israel. You know? This Nahum chapter 1, verse 2. Yahweh is jealous. So, yeah, he is jealous power. And the Lord revenges. Yeah, and he, um, he, he get revenge, man. Yahweh revenges and is furious. So, yeah, man. He, he, he show revenge and he furious, man. And like, like the scriptures say, the Lord is a man and Lord. Yahweh Shri Yahweh Shah his name, man. So yeah, man. He 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 he, he a man of war, man. What a man of war do, man. They get revenge, man. They fight, man. That's what the most high do. You know? And it say will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. So yeah man, the most high he um get revenge on on his enemies and his adversaries man. He get revenge on the ones who fucked with his children man. You know? Let me see if there's more on that. But yeah, man, he gonna do it on his time, man. And I got another precept real quick. Uh, bear with me when I find it, because people wanna know what's the gospel, man. And here go the gospel right here, man. This is part of the gospel, man. You know, this is one of the main messages. This is Revelations chapter thirteen, verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. It. So yeah, man, if you got an ear, man, let hear it, man. Just come hear it, you know? If you're willing to hear it, hear it. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. Who did that to us, man? These, so these other nations and these Edomites, man. And you see you coon-ass Israelites who put you, who set your, your own people up, fuck Fuck, fuck them. They, they, 
they 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 getting they judgment, you know. They probably got their judgment for it back then, or they probably back on earth getting their judgment now, man. You know, or about to get their judgment. So fuck them. We ain't talk about that. We talk about these you other nations, man. Y'all put us in captivity, so we go put y'all in captivity. Y'all kill us with the sword, so we go kill y'all with a sword with the sword, man. And you eat you so called white people, you Edomites. Y'all did that shit the worst way, man. Y'all could, man. And I, I, the worst way that these other nations did. So y'all slavery, you know, it's gonna be double on both on all the nations, but it's gonna be worse to you Edomites, man. And y'all y'all gonna go into slavery for a thousand years, man. But see, the 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 next the second worst part about Esau slavery, um is with these other nations. Esau gonna go get destroyed after the thousand years, and these other nations gonna be allowed to go back to their land. But we still gonna have fucking power over them, man. You know? That's the fucking gospel, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. The scriptures say we gonna stump y'all in y'all fucking blood, man. Roughly paraphrasing. You know? And it said. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. Who is the saints, man? The Israelites, man. The, that's the patience and the faith we have, man. Um, starting with the elect, man. Well, yeah, you know, starting with the elect. You know, Lord willing, I'm a part of the elect. Or, you know, the brothers with me are part of the elect. But, yeah, man, that's the patience and the faith. The patient means of suffering through something. That's what we suffering through. And that's our faith, man. You know, putting your you other nations into captivity, man. Cause y'all put us into captivity, you know. We want our revenge. Cause like just could say that I just read Nahum, the Lord, he about revenge. He about revenge, man. And I got another precept real quick. This Genesis chapter. So yeah, man. Like I was saying, how this relate to Esau? Cause that's what Esau do, man. He envious, man. He envy to kill us, man. He 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 kill his own people just to kill us, man. That's how you know this nigga the devil, man. You know. But this Genesis chapter three verse fifteen, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. So this the Most High talking to that that snake ass nigga, that serpent, that man. If you look at that word serpent, it means man in the Greek, I mean in the Hebrew. So he's saying, I'm going to pit mate and maybe between yo, you and a woman. The woman's about us, man. Because the Lord look at the Israelites as his wife, man. Even though we his children, he look at us as his wife. Like if you get a new car or a new, you know, you like, that's my baby right there, man. You know, or you might have a Jake in the hood. They might say they have a new gun or something. But some, there she go right here. This is my baby right here, man. That's how the most high look at us, man. You know, that's how you know you're Jake, man. That's what Jake do. But it's say he'll pit be in midi between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. So between his seed and um the the woman's seed, man. The Israelites, man. Talk about the man, you know. And that's how you know it was no fucking snake, man. Cause snakes can't have seeds, man. You know, they lay eggs, man. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So yeah, man, they fucking us up, but we gonna pull them down, man. And I'm about to get that real quick. Matter of fact, I'm about to get that now, man. This second Ezra's, and just like in Genesis 25 when it said, East, Jacob took hold of Esau heel. You know, that was symbolic of us putting him out of power, man. And I'm about to prove that in 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? So, yeah, man. He was asking, or it was, so when when this stuff do come to pass, when America, Babylon the Great come, what's going like, well, what's gonna be the next rulership when it fall, man? Who 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 gonna be the first? Who gonna be the end? And who gonna be the beginning that follows, man? And they say, 
like the scriptures say, the la the first shall be last and the last shall be first, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. You know? Who who is the last nation? Well, who is the last t people that was called a nation, man? You know? And who was before that? Right before that. You know? Verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And that they got that from Genesis 25, verse 26. So yeah, that was symbolic of Jacob pulling Esau out of power, man. You know? Same thing we just read in Genesis chapter 3. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, talk about the rulership, and be and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man. So yeah, Esau, Esau is the end of this rulership, this period, and Jacob be gonna be the beginning of it that follows, man. The sons of Jacob, man, and the sons of Esau, they king about to be over with, man. You know, these so-called white people, man. Jacob was the last kingdom created, last nation to be called the Israelites, to be, to be called a nation, man. And right before that was Esau and these these Edomites and these other nations, man. They were already called nations. Then the Israelites was the last nation, uh, a nation, man. You know? So, yeah, man. Jake, you know, that's about to happen, man. These other nations about to go into captivity. Mainly, man, especially Esau, he about to get it worse. And he's about to get destroyed. And Jacob going to be ruling forever, man. You know? Esau thought that he, he could he could have took us down a long time ago. And st he still think, he still got that pride in him that he could take us down. That's why he's about to bring Jacob's trouble. And Jacob's trouble on the way, man. But the Lord ain't going to have to make that happen, man. Like the scriptures say, the sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. You know? So yeah, man, this was just a land back off of that little um, live on Instagram about Esau and Ke Esau came the same spirit and how they hate Jacob. That's how you know they're the same spirit, you know, and Abel and Jacob's the same spirit. This was just a little land back off of that and, what, and what's going to be the punishment, basically the punishment of these Edomites and these other nations, but mainly it was for these Edomites. But with that, call the law Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, we call it Kodash, Brakata, that will honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, who will, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the teachers truth sincerely across the four corners of the earth. With that, Ababa, Shalom.